Um, obviously this week it's been another hot week uh, and it continues on. So we'll see the end of the week being um, hot and bring uh, fire dangers across the state that will be in some cases extreme and severe on the forecast we've already seen. So Saturday this week will be I think the interesting day of particular note. Uh, it's very warm obviously coming into it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday but Saturday will be a day that uh, is the more traditional um, fire weather and when I say traditional fire weather it's the day that will be hot, it will be northerly winds, uh, it will be strong winds but the critical factor it will have a southwesterly change which will see the wind change move through the state in one day. Whereas the last couple of weeks it's been moving through over two days, you know, it's been moving overnight and into the next morning. Uh, whereas Saturday is a, is a critical, more traditional fire day. And as we know in Victoria, we lose more um, property. We have a bigger impact after the change than before the change. So for those that don't understand the weather, um, it is something to focus on. Understand the wind change. Uh, and I think that's something that uh, we'd all do very well to, to be prepared for. The other one that's uh, important is uh, probably a little bit of fatigue. Everyone's been um, ready for fires. You know, it's gone every week for the last uh, six or seven weeks. Um, in some cases, people will say, well, I've heard the story, uh, and we say it again, um, stay focused. Uh, it's really important in February that people in Victoria do stay focused about fire. And uh, we've said it before, but it's almost drought-like conditions in, in particularly central Victoria and western Victoria where it's so dry and the, the heat has zapped any moisture out of any grass or bushland uh, that we need to be really conscious of that. So uh, again, without, um, without boring people about the message, uh, it is about your preparedness, it's about you making good decisions, it's about you getting the information to make the decisions, it's about thinking through um, what the scenario is in your area uh, and make sure that you're able to empower yourself to make the best decision. Don't let yourself down, um, do that um, for your safety.